Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. I hope you're having a great day today. Some big news has come out of Nice Hash this week. I see on a blog post dated September 2nd, ETC Hash is now available on Nice Hash. So now Nice Hash has finally added the ability to do Ethereum Classic Mining, which in my opinion is huge because although Ethereum Classic is not the primary coin for us to mine, especially with our GPU mining rigs, it is probably the number two coin as far as market capitalization to be able to mine. So having more mining options, more alternatives, especially with Ethereum going proof of stake very soon, it's a huge victory for us as GPU miners. I'm going to be taking a look at this in more because there's some new miner requirements, there's some updates, and I'm going to be testing it in batch files as well as even in the new nice hash miners. So before I do, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to press down on that subscribe button. I put a lot of hard work and effort, a lot of heart into my videos, and you subscribing means a lot to me. So smash down on that subscribe button. Let's get started. Before I get into the different minor updates that are going to be required to do this Ethereum Classic mining, I want to take a look at Ethereum Classic itself. And the reason I think it's so important for us to have this new option jumping over to coin market cap and it is dated it is now september 5th of 2022 so let me just refresh this page and with current market prices right now i just want to kind of give some perspective at least from my thoughts again nothing in this video is financial advice this is just my own opinions please do your own research ethereum is huge it has a huge volume of hash rate as well as it has a huge market cap bitcoin Market capital is $378 billion right now, but we're not mining that. We're mining, most of us are mining Ethereum for the most part, and that has $193 billion at the time I'm recording. So that's a huge amount of money, I guess, and that's why a lot of us are mining and making the profits, at least even in this bear market that we're making today. But if we scroll down looking for what are the next coins we're going to be mining, okay, Tether, no, USD coin, BNB, etc., Scrolling down, looking for coins that we can mine, unless you have a Doge miner, maybe. But uh, Doge is worth $8 billion. So give a scope of that, $8 billion versus 193 So even Doge is kind of still up at the top of the list. Scrolling down, we see Polygon, Dai, Shiba Inu, which is tokenized under Ethereum. That's $6.8 billion. But we're not mining that either. And then we finally get to, oh, look, Ethereum Classic. So Ethereum Classic would really be my number two mineable coin, unless I was mining Bitcoin too, but I don't have any Bitcoin ASICs. So for my GPUs, it has a market cap of $4.7 billion. It's a lot smaller than the $193 billion, but it's at least decent in the sense of, it's probably, I guess, about 140th approximately. But everything else is so much further down in the list. And the big fear is that once Ethereum turns proof of stake, a lot of the hash rate is going to be ASICs. So the ASICs, if they can go to Ethereum Classic, they probably will. But if not, they're going to kind of probably scatter amongst a lot of coins. We see Flux, we see Ergo, and they have a lot of potential. So Ergo has a market cap of $138 million. It's not even in the billions, it's in the millions. And if we look at Flux... 305 million you could see there's a lot more market capitalization there's a lot more room to kind of squeeze onto ethereum classic than there is maybe onto these other coins let's look at one more let's look at raven coin so raven coin is 365 million so again these are smaller coins by comparison market capitalization overall for us to be able to mine or at least now all of a sudden if you have like a hundred times many people mining on these same small coins, old coins, until they really rally and get the market momentum. Maybe some new projects start spawning off on them. It's going to be a tough market. So at least us having the ability now to be able to mine coins like Ethereum Classic Native with NiceHash, especially if you're a NiceHash user, it's a huge victory. I think it's going to be pretty competitive because based on some of the specs I've seen and even testing too with some of these Ethereum Classic ASICs, they're much more efficient at mining it, but at least it gives us another option, another coin to mine. And hey, I'm always happy. Open the door to any more options if it may be profitable for us. So that's why I think this is really an important victory for us as GPU miners, especially if you're using NiceHash to be able to have that ability to mine Ethereum Classic. Having more options to be able to mine more coins within NiceHash is a huge victory if you're a NiceHash user. 
So having the ability to mine maybe even coins like Ethereum Classic, although I think it's going to be pretty competitive to mine, at least more options gives us more opportunity to be able to mine and hopefully become profitable even after Ethereum terms of proof of stake because I think it's going to be a tough market. But let's just stay focused on our blog post. For buyers of hash power, ETC hash has been implemented on our Stratum servers and is now available on our hash power marketplace. You can also purchase hash power for mining Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic is the original Ethereum blockchain that was long signaled its commitment to proof of work. It is likely to see a lot of Ethereum hash rate move their network post merge here. You can read more about it here and you can find out more about their buying guide there. For sellers of hash power, the list of the details of the algorithm stratums is here and I'll put a link down below for this page in case you want to check it out. It's a stratum update, so the same way in the past you would be pointing to Dagger Hashimoto. Now if we jump over to NiceHash, their stratum server, scripts, scroll all the way down. Typically if you're mining Ethereum you'd be choosing Dagger Hashimoto, but now at the very very bottom of the list you see there is ETC hash, so that is Ethereum Classic click copy the address and now this would be the stratum server so this would be the pooling server I could point to if I was manually mining and now I could also be able to go using the new updates and mine it directly with a nice hash so jumping down to and compatible miners from the blog post it says nice hash miner now is a new version 3.0.92 will support mining on ETC hash note ETC Ajax will likely need a firmware upgrade for this so we need a new miner to be able to mine it. If you go over to the NiceHash Download Center, you'll see they actually just published this today. It wasn't here yesterday, actually, 3.092. And you can also go to the GitHub site. There's also 3.0.92. And download this latest version of the miner. Because within this miner, it has the ability now to be selecting and using Ethereum Classic. Ironically, too, one of the primary miners that we often use for mining coins within NiceHash is NB Miner. And I've covered NB Miner a lot in the past, but you see there's a new update, too. And this is added support for NiceHash ETC pool. So apparently there was some issues with the communication, with Ethereum Classic being supported on some of these miners. I had done a recent interview I guess with the nice hash developers team and I even as uh, sideline I communicated with uh, Marco and stuff like that on uh, emails and at the time a couple of months ago they weren't planning on being able to support it at least at that time apparently they've made some corrections or some updates that's going to be allowing them to do this but it's just kind of interesting too because I see there's an update to the nice hash miner as well as NB miner right at the same time so I guess they kind of coordinated to do this if you download this latest version of the miner, uh, you'll see it has the ability to mine Ethereum Classic right within it. So I've downloaded this miner and let's jump over to our mining screens and let's take a look at it. So I've just downloaded and I've set up this new version of the NiceHash miner. So I am downloading and I'm running right now NiceHash version 3.0.92 with the new Ethereum Classic support. The miner is opening up right now. It's cross-referencing the miners. So let me show you too on configuration. Uh, you can see about NiceHash version 3.0.92. So that's the one I'm going to be using. And within that, now I have the ability to be mining coins like Ethereum Classic. So I'm using my test computer. For my test computer, I actually have three RTX 3060 Ti's. This is coming into the different you know benchmark settings. You can see the different coins that it's able to mine. I have already had it focused and tuned so I can kind of get a little bit ahead of it. But you'll now see the new ETC hash is listed here. So I'm seeing ETC hash is for NB miner. And I originally set the benchmarks and I even set the overclocks right within nice hash. And click on the settings here. So custom algorithm settings. I preset uh, benchmark speeds and power. So oftentimes if NiceHash has an issue with the benchmarking, you can just go in and you could set the hash rate. So it would be hash rate would be about 60 mega hash for these cards. And so I'd enter in a value of 60 million just by default here and a power usage of about 120 watts just to get a start it for this. But I passed in my overclock settings right here in extra large parameters. I'm actually working on a new, more comprehensive NiceHash video that I'll kind of go into more details on this. In case you want to see my overclock settings I'm going to be using for these cards is a locked core clock of 1375 megahertz, a memory clock offset of plus 1100, and setting the fans at 70. 
And using that across all three of these RTX 3060 cards, I'm able to set it up in mine. So from here, let me just go to devices. I have them all enabled. That's great. And let's just start up this miner. I can see I have the new NB miner version 42.3 opening within nice hash miner and it's running Windows 10. I see the CPU driver there. Let me just space out a little bit better is 512.77. So I'm using the NVIDIA driver 512.77. Algo's ETC hash. It's pointing to the nice hash stratums. And you can see I have my three graphic cards there and it's applying the overclocks to all three of the 3060 Ti cards. Please keep in mind though too that I'm recording on this computer that I'm mining on. So my hash rate will be a little bit lower for at least one of the cards, probably the first one. Yeah, it seems like card zero. It's running great. It built the DAG already really quick, but I see I'm already starting to get some hash rate. So down below I'm seeing 50.23, 59.57, and 59.4 mega hash. So this is looking great. I have my first Ethereum Classic mining successfully now natively within the nice hash miner and i see more status messages coming in but the one key thing that i've noticed so too once this miner runs for a little bit it'll oftentimes stop and restart so it seems like there's some stability issues i've tried different drivers i've tried newer drivers up oh, look there just crashed and it's restarting right now so maybe there's still some kinks that they need to work out and i guess with the communication because i see keep seeing the miners stop and restart and I've tested different drivers, so I'm not sure of the cores yet, but this is at least a huge leap forward for us being able to have the ability to mine Ethereum Classic coins, but we need the ability to keep it stable. So I see it's running right now and it's building up okay. And let's see if this one runs a little bit longer. A lot of times it seems like the second or third time it restarts, it runs a little bit longer. It's good that I'm seeing it run, but the bad part is I'm not seeing it run stably, at least not in this version of the miner yet. Up, oh, see it crashed again so it's going to keep doing this and i think there's something that they need to work through on this but with that said let me go take a look at how it runs if i want to run the miner manually just right click on this batch file and select run as admin since i'm passing in overclock settings it's going to want me to run as administrator i'm going to space this window out a little bit okay i see mb miner version 42.3 and let me cross my fingers and see if this holds and runs a little bit more stable than it was running within the nice hash so i see the algorithm is etc hash it's connected to the nice hash stratum for this it's seeing my wallet and these are my three graphic cards and these are the three overclock settings so that is successfully being applied i even hear the fans ramping up because that's part of my overclock settings uh, etc hash login succeeded the dag is built for these three so I am starting to see some hash rate and even some accepted shares. So this may be a better or a more stable approach to mining Ethereum Classic within NiceHash. Let's see if this miner stays up for a while, what our hash rate is going to be with it. So I'm already showing um, about 160.3 mega hash is what's showing on the miner screen right now. And again, please keep in mind, I am recording on this computer, so I'm gonna be having a reduced hash rate because it's between the video recording and it's trying to mine, it definitely slows down my hash rate. But I'll be happy to see if it just can stay up for a while and hopefully this will be maybe a better way that I can at least mine Ethereum Classic within NiceHash until NiceHash is able to maybe make it more robust within the NiceHash uh, miner itself. Oof. Okay, so the miner just crashed, so it seems like it's no better even if I just mine using the miner itself. I... Unfortunately, I was unsuccessful in keeping the new version of the NiceHash miner able to mine Ethereum Classic or even using NB miner to mine it itself. Off camera, I actually did a test of trying even the T-Rex miner and I had the same result. It runs for a little bit, I get a few accepted shares and then it kind of just, you know, it craps out. It just kind of the miner crashes on it. But I kept doing it for a little bit, just wanted to see what would realize within the NiceHash dashboard. So I can see there is some hash rate being recognized in NiceHash for the Ethereum ETC hash. But again, I'm just not stable enough for me to run it or really be usable, at least at this time. 
perhaps others may have different experience with this miner, but I've tested in a few different scenarios and it seems like it's not very robust at this point. So although I'm extremely happy that NiceHash has added the ability for us to mine Ethereum Classic, we need the ability to mine it consistently and stably because we know, you know, even dealing with LHR miners in the past, when the miners drop out or we're not mining, we're losing money. So I'm not going to mine something that can't be profitable yet. So I think this is kind of maybe a little bit too early of a release. They could have kind of made it a pre-release in my opinion. But if you've tested this and had a better experience, I would love to know. So definitely drop a comment down below. But I'm really excited to see that ETC hash has at least been added to nice hash. Now they just kind of got to get the mechanics of get it working reliably so we can just keep it running consistent. So that about wraps it up for me today. I thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up like. And until next time, stay safe. See you on the next video. Happy mining.